This week, Asus announced its Strix series sound cards. AMD prepares the R9 380X, NVIDIA prepares full powered GTX 980s for notebooks, and more. Asus has announced the Strix line of sound cards, the Strix RAID DLX, the RAID Pro X, and the SOAR. These gaming sound cards should give high definition 192kHz 24-bit audio and 7.1 surround sound, with noise cancellation technology called Perfect Voice to clean up background noise in the user's mic signal, and features a volume remote with a programmable button allowing you to switch user program settings without leaving your game. Nice! This is the first time in my life that I've seen a sound card with a 6-pin PCI Express connector, which is just a little strange. And judging by some of the comments on the Tech Power Up website, Asus has a history of bad driver support, i.e. there have been years in a row with no updates. So as cool as this looks, and pun intended sounds, I'd be a little wary about these sound cards, at least until there's some feedback about driver support. AMD is getting ready to launch its Radeon R9 380X graphics card to close the gap between the NVIDIA GTX 960 and 970. The card could offer 2048 stream processors, 128 TMUs, and 32 ROPs, and either a 384 or 256 bit GDDR5 memory interface. It's a little up in the air. And either 3 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes of memory. Its core is based on the 28 nanometer Tonga. XFX already has a card ready to go with a double dissipation cooler, four nickel plated copper heat pipes, and dual 100 millimeter fans that are removable for easy cleaning which is a wonderful idea. No more struggling to get cat hair clumps out from behind your fans. This card seems like a very candy sweet offering if it's priced nicely, say 240-ish American dollars. Not too close to the 970, but not ridiculously more than the 960 it hopefully will wipe the floor with. I'm pretty confident it will, given the 380's performance. Nvidia is releasing a fully featured GTX 980 for notebooks. This isn't the same thing as the 980M that was released last year. This is a real GTX 980. It features between 4 and 8 gigabytes of GDDR5, a 256-bit memory bus, the full 2048 CUDA cores, higher clocks than a reference desktop GTX 980. This is awesome. This is a fantastic thing. Having that amount of power in something you can travel with is just amazing to me. Mind you, it will probably be quite pricey for most to get a laptop with this 980. It's still a neat thing that it's even possible, although it'll probably melt your legs. NVIDIA's next flagship GPU, codenamed GP100, has apparently moved on to its testing phase. The chip is predicted to feature at least 17 billion transistors, be built on the 16 nanometer process by TSMC, and use an HBM2 memory interface, allowing up to 32 gigabytes of video memory. NVIDIA may be hoping to get 60-90% more performance than the current flagship GTX Titan X. Jim Keller, chief architect of microprocessor cores at AMD, has left the company. He is associated with some of AMD's most successful CPU lines, like the K7, the Athlon, Athlon XP, Duron, the first 64-bit x86 architecture, those previous ones, and K8, the Athlon 64. Keller has left the company before once leaving to work for Apple before returning in 2012 to work on AMD's Zen architecture. AMD maintains that Zen is still on track for sampling in 2016 and full year of revenue in 2017, perhaps meaning a 2016 launch. Want to read more tech news? Check out techpowerup.com. We've got lots of great articles on what I spoke about and more, like Digital Storm's Eventum 3, a nearly $5,000 desktop PC, G-Skills Ripjaws MX780 Customizable RGP Laser Gaming Mouse, AMD's 6th Generation A-Series APUs Cutting Greenhouse Gas Emissions by 50%, and more. Got a question about computers? Head on over to the forums. There's lots of friendly people here that know some stuff. Also, they like talking about it, so... Yeah. If you watched this and said, Hey, what about video game news? Have I got the channel for you? Check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They've got awesome stuff, like gaming news and reviews. Clicky, clicky.